I've got some angled steel here to make some of the battery boxes. So I'm going to start off with just two battery boxes to hold eight of the modules. So the one in the front under the hood will hold five modules uh, in a vertical. Each module will be vertical and they'll be like sideways next to each other. And the battery box in the back where the gas tank was, so under the car, that one will have the three other modules and those will be just stacked normally as they would be in a standard Tesla pack right out of the car. Uh, the other two modules, I'm not sure where I'm going to put them yet. I'm thinking I might put them between, uh, like right in front of, uh, right behind the grill. But I'm not sure. If, if they don't fit there, I think I may just end up putting them in the trunk. But I want to keep as much of the interior space original and usable as possible. So these steel pieces here are four feet long, each one of them, and I'm going to be cutting them down to 31 inches, which is about three and a half, four inches longer than the battery modules are. So it should give me enough space to run the coolant hoses and the uh, battery wires. Um, but it is pretty tight under the hood, so I'm trying to keep it as, as compact as possible. So let's cut to cutting. So now that I've got the cuts made, I've got 31 inches for 31 inch angles here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out almost like a little corner here so that this, so that these pieces um, can fit uh, flush instead of sticking out. So I, I'm cutting out a little square, about a one inch by one inch square right here on this, uh, on each one of the angles and on each side. So that'll allow me to slot in these pieces and hopefully make a, a pretty rigid, sturdy box. So now you should be able to see what I meant by cutting out a little corner here so they'll fit right in perfectly. Uh, the channels are upside down right now just so they're easier to weld. But you'll see I have these uh, right angle magnets holding them together in each corner. But you'll see that it's pretty close to a flush finish. Uh, and that'll make it really easy to weld and it should help uh, minimize the number of potential weak points in the metal. The first side of the box is all welded together now so now I just gotta do the exact same thing uh, with the other side. So I made quite a bit of progress. I didn't film a bunch of it because it was really difficult to get it all um, positioned perfectly so that I could get the tack welds in to hold it. But now the tack welds are in, I'm not too worried. I'll film it and then I gotta uh, weld, weld it all in completely. So I ran to Home Depot and bought three of these two by four foot PVC quarter inch thick plastic sheets. And what I'm gonna use those for is to make all of the sides uh, and make it a, a solid box. So for all the sides except the bottom, the sides that aren't load bearing, I'll just be having them resting or maybe bolted in. Uh, but for the load bearing side, I'm going to run some, some steel supports across the bottom um, to make sure because this material is pretty, pretty flexible. So I need, I need extra reinforcement. So I've got the rear battery box laying on the ground here. And what these are, are the supports. Uh, this battery box is upside down right now, so this side is the bottom. But these are the supports that are going to go across. There's going to be two of these one inch tall ones here and here, and they're going to be about 18 to 20 inches apart. Um, and then if I need to, I'll add this thinner support in the middle as well, uh, in between them. But what these uh, wider or taller supports are for are for this 
This is the original gas, one of the original gas tank straps. For this to sit right in there, and I'm gonna uh, grind this down a little so it slides in. Um, but this is how these, uh, this rear battery box is gonna be mounted to the, to the car. I cut out all the pieces I need for this uh, rear battery box and I've got them just kind of laying in here right now. Uh, and this material is really easy to cut um, and it's fitting the shape uh, perfectly of this battery box. So I've got the top here and all the other ones are going to be inside of the frame like this. But the top, I'm going to be placing it uh, on top so that I can actually access the inside if I need to. Because these ones, from the outside, there's really no easy way to, like you can't pull them out. They're obviously bigger than, than the frame, than the uh, inside line of the frame here. So you can't pull them out. So if I were to put all of them on the inside, uh, this pack would pretty much have to stay sealed unless I wanted to cut it open. So I put three battery modules in the rear battery box just to see how they'd fit. And it looks like they'll go on pretty well. Um, and what I have here is this, this red strap. I'm going to use two of these to strap down these modules and make sure they don't move within the, within the pack. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've shaved down the sides of this gas tank strap so that now it can fit uh, in the support beam for the rear battery box where the gas tank was. Now this one I haven't done anything to yet so you can see that it's still lays on top, but when I'm done, they'll both be able to slide in just like this. And that'll be how this rear battery box is supported. So now what I'm doing is I'm drilling holes um, in all the corners, and then one on the each of the long sides on the top of the rear battery box. And what I'm doing this for is so that I can bolt on uh, the top PVC panel instead of gluing it in because I want a way to access the batteries if I need to. Um, so I'll be able to pull the top off and access the batteries with these uh, bolts that are securing it instead of the glue that I'm gonna use for the rest of them. So I drilled all the bolt holes on the top, all six of them, you can see. Uh, but I also drilled four holes on the bottom and these are gonna be for the, the uh, securing straps for the hooks. So they'll hook in on each side, and there will be two straps, so four total holes. So now what I gotta do is sand the box down and get it ready for paint. I'm gonna be using some uh, glossy black Rust-Oleum paint for this battery box. So the paint is pretty dry for this uh, rear battery box, um, and it's looking pretty good. I think that'll be it for this video though. There will be another video, or maybe even two more, uh, for the other battery boxes.